Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Lara for those of you that do not know. And today's video is just going to be a little bit of a Q&A. It has been quite some time since I've just asked you guys to ask me stuff and sat down and just answer questions pretty relaxed and laid back. So I wanted to do that for you guys. I know it's been like two weeks since I've posted a video and I really apologize. I've just had so much homework, like so much homework. Like I didn't expect this like mid-semester randomly to have five Five billion essays I mean maybe I should have expected that whatever I've had so much homework so I just haven't been filming haven't been focusing on YouTube so I'm really sorry but I wanted to come back and do this little Q&A for you guys get back in the swing of things get some more videos up for you guys so I asked you guys to ask me questions on my Twitter and my Instagram and you guys sent a lot so I'm gonna try and answer as many as I can if you have not been following me on Instagram and Twitter you should go follow me at lovely like Laura because then you'll know if I'm doing Q&A's and you can ask me stuff um, or just talk to me in general see my tweets whatevs so definitely go follow me but I'm just gonna get started and look at the questions and give you guys some answers. Also, I just asked for like general questions. It doesn't have to be about books or about YouTube or whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna try and answer like the most fun ones that I see. First question is how do you get all of this money to constantly travel and go to concerts, etc.? cetera? Um, so they're probably referring to the fact that I travel a lot to see my friends and I do go to a lot of concerts. So how I save money for this, it's not really a simple answer as much so as it's like I'm just at this point in my life where I'm really lucky and able to just kind of go places when I want and save money for fun things because I'm 21 years old, about to be 22, I'm in college. Obviously I have things like college and housing that I have to pay for, but I also don't have like a bajillion bills and like crazy amounts of things that I have to pay every month. So I have been able to save money. Um, I do have two jobs, I have YouTube. So I do have a few steady sources of income while I'm in school. And so for that reason, I've been able to use my money kind of more on fun things. Um, so yeah, I do travel around a decent amount. I go to concerts, I go to a lot of cheaper concerts concerts. Um, I like a lot of smaller artists that have shows that are like $20 for a ticket so it's like really not that bad um, or hard on your wallet. I try to get good prices when I travel. I try to travel in easier ways like I went to New York recently we drove or like um, I went to Indiana. I tried to fly into like the cheapest place so I fly into Kentucky so it's like just kind of trying to make these little switches um, to save money more easily if you don't have so much income just try and cut places where you don't need to spend money. For example if you buy coffee every single day I would stop doing that. Um, if you buy a lot of food out that's been one of my biggest issues is I'm constantly buying food out. Um, go grocery shopping once a week and then don't allow yourself to spend any more money even if you run out of something just deal for the week if you can and get by um, and then go grocery shopping again if you're gonna go to Target don't aimlessly walk around and just spend your money on anything you know what I mean like there's little things that can really really make a difference if you pay attention to where your money's actually going um, so just kind of trying to implement those things trying to put away money when you get some so if you get paid put half of it in savings half in your checking or as much as you can tuck away um, and then eventually you'll have a nice amount of savings that you can use for fun stuff so yeah it's complicated money is complicated in general I believe that if you want something enough you can make it work so if I want to go see my friends I'm gonna make it work I'm gonna work extra hours I'm going to save my money and not get my nails done or buy Starbucks you know what I mean so like I'm gonna save um, you just have to kind of focus on that if you don't have a steady income that's the first issue um, to which I don't know I don't know what the situation is everyone's different if you aren't old enough to get like a real job try babysitting dog walking smaller jobs where you can get hired when you're younger it's like there's a lot of options so just look online um try and save I know it's hard but it's worth it if you want to do fun stuff like travel and go to concerts and shows and stuff so that's my advice that was really long oh my god another question I got kind of related is how do I have so many internet friends and that question can be answered pretty simply I've met them all on Twitter which I know sounds crazy if you're not in this world of like stan twitter um but i've had internet friends my whole life never ones that have been like this personally with my friends right now um if you guys know if you see my vlogs uh, my atlanta vlog or if you follow me on twitter i do have a lot of really really close friends like my best friends are from twitter in regards to my current online friends that i now consider my real life friends because we genuinely go see each other like every other month in person um i met them in a group chat about after so there was a group chat made 
where we were talking about after and I met these girls in the chat we clicked we started texting we started facetiming and then we decided to meet each other in person and now we try and see each other as much as possible and they're like literally my best friends so that's how that happened it was genuinely from after and from group chats and Twitter and stuff like that so that is how um, it's pretty crazy I can meet people online and they become like your closest most best friends um, but that's literally how it happened someone asked what is one song that you could listen to for the rest of your life love you so much I love you too um, a song I could listen to for the rest of my life champagne supernova by Oasis hide and seek by Imogen heap those are my two songs that I say are my like all-time favorites I obviously usually have like current faves um, but they're like my all-time all-time faves my current favorite just came out today God must be doing cocaine by Charlotte Lawrence Charlotte. Um, I just went to her concert last night and it was wonderful and the song just came out today So stream it if you have not already, but yes, those other two songs are like my all-time faves I'll play them and they never get old, but my current fave switches like every single week So always different someone asked how I was originally introduced to after um, I'm sure I've answered this before But if you don't know I was a really hardcore one direction stan um, growing up in high school and I was really into fan fiction I randomly stumbled across after and then just became obsessed with it So yeah, I stumbled across it when it was originally on Wattpad and then obviously as it got published and stuff I was like more interested and I bought it and I talked about it on my channel and then it just kind of like became this huge whirlwind thing but I originally read it on Wattpad just as a One Direction fan which is kind of funny. Someone asked how excited are you for Fine Line to come out? I'm really excited. My makeup today, Fine Line inspired. If you guys don't know, Fine Line, Harry Styles' new album comes out on December 13th. PSA. Really excited for it. Um, it's gonna be so good. I'm really really excited. Oh this question. This is the number one question that I've been asked in this Q&A. There's like 50 plus questions of people asking this. Um, when am I going to write a new chapter for my book? I know guys, I know it's been over a month probably. Definitely, it's been over a month. Um, I feel so horrible, first of all. Second of all, I never planned to just abandon the book completely. I know it seems like I have, but I promise at some time in the future it will be completed. Um, I don't know when that will be. The thing about this book is that it's 100% a hobby, similarly to YouTube. If I can't get it done, if I can't post videos, it's just like that has to be second to like school and jobs and real life stuff, unfortunately. So because YouTube and Wattpad and writing are all hobbies of mine, they just tend to fall in the back burner when I get really busy. Right now I'm in school and I've just gotten so busy. I was writing the book primarily during the summer when I was free um, and then things just got kind of crazy. So I really want to continue writing. I have a whole outline of the book and like I know what needs to happen in the story and I want to finish it more than you can imagine. I just have not had time to sit down and physically write chapters that I feel proud of and excited about and that makes me really sad because I know you guys are constantly, every single day I get messages asking when the next chapter is coming out and I feel so bad because I know if it was reversed and I was the person reading this book and I wanted more chapters I'd be like so enraged wanting more um so i feel really really bad about it but i hopefully will get new chapters out soon i'm on thanksgiving break for a whole week hopefully sometime during that week i'll get something written or sooner or something i really want to keep writing i'm really sorry i know everyone's like really upset with me i can promise you that it will never just not get done like i'm going to finish this book i just don't know when it's going to be so Good and bad, I guess. Someone asked what kind of music I like to listen to while I read. Um, I like music that's pretty tame and I don't always listen to music. If I'm somewhere in public, I usually will listen to music. If I'm home, I don't always. Sometimes I do if I'm in a mood, um, but it always has to be pretty calm music, anything too crazy and it's like I'm distracted. Um, so I listen to lots and lots and lots of John Mayer because his music's just kind of like calm, acoustic stuff, my favorite. So I listen to him, I listen to Lana, I listen to Charlotte um, a lot of people that just have like relaxed music which is kind of my favorite kind of music anyways um, so yeah just stuff that's not too in your face and just can kind of be in the back burner while I'm reading is the best kind for me someone said what is the TV show that you're obsessed with at the moment 
Um, I've actually been re-watching Degrassi The Next Generation with my friend Mads. We literally flew through this show. Um, she's never seen it, so I'm watching it with her. It's my favorite show of all time. Some of you may know that. And so watching with her has been like really, really fun to see how she likes it, and she's been really enjoying it, which is a plus. Um, but it's just kind of fun to see like her reactions to everything. I'm just obsessed with this show. It's my favorite show of all time. And like once a year, I'll rewatch like so much of it. And it's just such a joy every single time to rewatch my favorite show. If you've not watched Degrassi The Next Generation, every single episode is on YouTube. You should do it. It's such a long show, but it's so good. Um, if you just love like high school drama, teen stuff it's the best so highly recommend but yeah so we've been watching that lately and it's been really really fun okay and then the last question i'm going to be addressing is one that people did ask in the q a but it's also just kind of been asked across my socials and my comment section here on youtube quite a lot recently and it has to do with after um and people asking why i don't seem as enthusiastic or excited for after we collided which is coming out next year um and i can see why people would ask that because i definitely did way more after related videos last year um and i think it's because for this movie i'm obviously excited about it and i'm obviously like really interested to see it and see how it is i think the thing is after watching the first movie and being sort of left let down after watching it i don't want to put too much pressure on myself to like be so super excited for this movie in case it's the same thing and i know that sounds like so pessimistic and i'm never that person like i'm so optimistic about everything so it sucks to like be in this predicament where i'm like trying not to get over excited but at the same time last year i was like i don't have any expectations like i don't care i'm gonna like it either way and then i was left disappointed so that's the thing like i just don't want to over hype everything and then be let down again it's a really negative view but it's just how i've been feeling and i want to be honest with you guys always um i'm very excited for the movie though like i'm genuinely like excited to see the trailer excited to see when pictures come out stuff like that it's just i've been talking about it a little bit less and kind of drawing back i feel like in that way i'll end up being more excited with the finishing product if i'm not as focused on every little detail like i was last year so i hope you guys can understand that and I will definitely still be doing like trailer reactions and trying to break down the trailer and like tell you guys what I think. Um, I just haven't been talking about like the every single move of everything going on, which I think is okay. Um, people have just been wondering. So yes, I still love After. It's still my baby. Um, it's just talked about less because I'm just kind of trying to draw back from it a tiny bit. Hope that is okay with you guys. I'm still continuing to make videos about a bunch of other stuff. I want to hear what you guys want to see from me. I'm going to be doing some recommendations videos very soon for more books um talking about books i've been reading lately i've been reading a ton and a lot of really great romance books so i'm excited to recommend more stuff for you guys but yes i think i'm gonna cut the q a here it's been quite some time but thank you guys so so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already i hope you guys are having a absolutely wonderful day and i will talk to you all very very soon in my next video bye